Welcome to Big Gamer Taming, <laughs> Big Tater Gaming. Uh, we got a rivalry matchup today against our buddy X Two Two Two's X. Uh, this rivalry goes back all the way to the Sega days of Bill Walsh College Football and some Coach K basketball. For you, are you all old school gamers? Uh, we got Jimmy Rollins leading off off the game for us here. We both have Lens Kim on the mound. I got a once you count here with Jimmy. Turns on a fastball, rips it down to the. Right at the first baseman, though. Jimmy's got potential, man. I got Sandberg here in the second hole of the day. That starts us off with a slider low and away. Looking for for a fastball here. Uh, 1 0 count. Get the fastball. Yeah, you just got to get used to that small ass strike. Sandberg turns on it, squares it up, but right to the left fielder. First two, first two, pit, or first two batters hit the ball hard. Just both right at somebody. Not much you can do about that. Got Harper here in the third third hole. Starts off a seeker in the dirt, and we go fishing for it. Follows up with a perfect 12-6 curve on the outside corner, low and away. And then he gets us fishing at the changeup in the dirt. Wasn't a good bat with Harper. I'm still not sure if I can hit with him just yet. But he I, has uh, I, I Jimmy leaning off also on, on his lineup. Uh, start him away, or down with the fastball, and he hits a single out to right field. Gets the speed guy on to start the game. Yeah, it's always good for you, for you if you're able to get that speed on base. He has Almar here in the two hole. Start him with a slider too far and low inside. Uh, followed it up here with a change up. Blue gives a call, it's sitting there on the edge. Uh, we come with a fastball here, low and away. Perfect pitch for us, not much he can do even if he does hit it there. Get an 0-2 count and we get him on the 12-6 with, tw with the check swing. See Chipper's balling for you a little bit. He has the 99 Chipper here in the three hole. Uh, he traded, traded his 99 Chipper in for Pepe Alvarez. Sitting here with an 0-2, or 1-1 count now to him. Uh, come in here with a high fastball. Get, get it by him. Kind of get greedy here. Thinking we're going to fool him, come back with a high fastball. He actually gets, gets a hold of it, but just misses it. Drives it out to the wall. I thought we were going to get uh, Jimmy here on the double up maybe, but he was able to get back in time. Looked like he was just kind of standing there on second, not not responding. So I wasn't sure if wasn't sure if we were going to actually be able to get him, but obviously not. Follows up with the, uh, Joe Maurer here. Sitting with an 0-1 count. Come with a 12-6. Hits a nice liner, but right at Ernie for to end the inning. Not a bad start. And we have Ernie leading off the top of the second for us here. He starts us off here, uh, fastball. We're just waiting for one strike here after last bat with Harper. Kind of wanted to get our discipline back. Um, miss, we're early on, on this slider here. Uh, I believe he follows it back up with another slider. No, change up. We foul that one off here. 0-2 oh, count. Just gives us a hang and slider there. Something nice nice to hit. Ernie's able to drive it out to left field wall. Doesn't really have the speed to stretch it out to, to two. Leading off the inning, I didn't want to test it either. And I'm pretty sure we would have been gunned if we did. We have Fado here up now. I'm not the greatest hitter with Fado. I usually don't use him. Um, I usually use the breakout Will Clark. In my ring season play, I used Fado for a little bit. I just, for whatever reason, I was unable to hit with him. I know everybody loves him. Most people I play against hit well with him. I usually don't, but as you see here, we drive that high fastball out to the right left field gap. Just missed a two run shot, but we get an RBI double out of Votto. We go up 1 nothing. Brings up the 99 Dawson here. We just recently acquired the 99 Dawson. I used to have the hardware Dawson, so 
used to the swing. I actually hit really well with the hardware Dawson. I've struggled a little bit early on with the 99 Dawson, but I think it's just because I'm pressing too much. Get the hanging slider here, and Dawson drives it deep out of the park for us. Two run blast, giving us a 3 0 lead. And now here we got the Diamondbacks, Justin Upton. I can't remember if he was an all star or a breakout card. I'm pretty sure it's an all star. Upton for the Diamondbacks, and he just hits a nice little easy pop fly out to right field. First out of the inning. Going with the rookie Posey here. We usually have Maurer in the lineup, but I wanted to give Posey a shot. Uh, have never actually used him online, just in the let's him grind. Uh, have a 1-1 one, one count here. Looking for something up and in. Gets a swing on the fastball. A little lower than what I wanted it. Nice little easy ground out. Third base. Two down. I usually like to look up in the zone when I get into some hitters accounts or if I'm even in the count. Um, I'm actually a better low ball hitter. And I think that's why I look up in the zone a lot. He has the, night, or the all star up and leading off here. Start him off with a slider. Ump doesn't give us a call there. Coming back here. I believe we come back with a fastball. Low and away. Fouls it off. To even up the account to one and one. We follow that up here with a high fastball up and in. He's just laid, or laid on it. 0 2 count. Going to throw the 12 6 here. Try to get him fishing for something. It was a little bit lower than what I wanted it, so he was able to hold up there. But we come back with a change up in the dirt, and we get him fishing for it for the strikeout. This car looks like it's a nice car. He has a Justin Morneau here, which I have actually never faced up until this point, so I wasn't really sure how to approach it, approach this hitter. Uh, obviously, we started him offside with a with a fastball, followed by up, followed that up with by the sinker. Uh, get up 0 2 on him here. Coming back in with a fastball high and in. Get him swinging a little bit off the plate. Two up, two down, two Ks. Can't start to any better, any better off. He now has the veteran Hunter Pence up here. Start him off with that change up for strike one. Follow that up with the 12 6. He's able to hold off on that one. Even the count up to one and one. We're coming here with the fastball in. Just missed our spot a little too far in. So we're going to come back in with the 12 6, I think. No. I threw the slider. Uh, get the nice pop up to left field in the inning. The grind for the program for Jimmy. You might hear some other talking going in the background. Uh, when I recorded this game, I forgot to turn the turn the broadcast settings off for the audio so it's recording him or me talking to him you can't hear him talking to me so if you hear some talking wondering what the heck's going on that's what happened and I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it on the on the video so Rollins starts off the inning world for us with a nice little single bringing up Sandberg uh, get a high fastball here somehow I got on top of it hit right into the double play it's usually an inning killer there. You know, a guy leaves off the inning for you. Very next batter hits into a double play. Never a good thing for you. So we have Harper up here now. Starts us off with a pitch out of the zone for ball one. And he comes back with a fastball. I was just waiting to get a pitch. I was trying not to press after that double play. So we watched the fastball down the middle, worked the count to two and one here, and then I just completely, completely folded. My discipline completely went out the window. See me hacking at a slider that wasn't even close. Follow that up. I'm hacking at a changeup right into the dirt. It was just a horrible bat with Harper. You know, work it, work it into the hitter's account and just folded. Uh... Here in the bottom of the third, he's leading off the inning with Luis Gonzalez, the Diamondback one. 
Uh, we just get a nice little fly ball out to short left. Rollins is there for the easy yeah, out. Like One down. Yeah, I think Jimmy's actually got a better arm. Uh, we're going to start Linscombe here off with a 12-6. Uh, get him swinging. He was obviously oh, setting fastball. Uh, I'm not big on throwing pitch, even pitchers fastballs straight down the middle unless I absolutely have to because I'm 3-0 count or something like that. Uh, we get him with a, hit a nice little pop fly to Ernie for the second out of the inning. Got Rollins up here. We start him off with a 12-6 in the dirt. Coming back with a fastball low and in. Just missed it. Blue Blue didn't give us the call there. Uh, I've only Come back with a fastball high and high, uh, high and in. He's been lights out for me. Get the easy fly ball out to center field to end the inning. Uh, we're actually going to jump to the bottom of the fifth here. Neither one of us really did anything in the fourth. Uh, he's got Upton leading off. You know, start him off with a fastball low and away. Coming back here with a fastball up and in. Get him swinging. Counts 0-2. Looking to get him fishing for a change up in the dirt here again. And we we leave it in the zone. And he drives it back up the middle for a single. Wanted that, wanted that change up a little bit lower. It stayed in the zone. And eh, it happens. Hit it right back up the middle. So we got Marno here up. Start him off with a 12-6 in the dirt. Follow that up here. I believe it was a sinker. Nope, the fastball out on the edge. Uh, here we're trying to throw the slider in off the plate. Uh, completely miss our spot. Man, as you can see, Marno definitely did not miss that ball. He brought out the weapon stick on that one. Now you never want to throw a slider over the middle to any hand, hand handed batter, but you definitely don't want to do it to the opposite hand. And that's why. So we get 100 pence here. Nice little fly ball out to right field for the first out of the inning. Which brings up to Luis Gonzalez. Start him off with a ball up and in off the plate. Coming back down. Uh, sinker, I believe, here. Yep, sinker. To even the count up at one and one. And then we throw the little slider here. Didn't get in as far as I wanted it, but the result was the same. Got a nice little pop out the shallow right field, and Sandberg's able to get underneath of it for us. And then we get Linscombe just to hit a nice little easy grounder over to Rollins to end the inning. One bad pitch, yeah. two runs, scores now three to two. But was he as good defensively? Uh, top of the six here. We got Harper leading off. We just missed that outside low fastball with Harper. Uh, I thought I got a hold of it when I when we were playing, but as you can see, it was just a deep fly ball out to center field. PCI shows I was underneath of it. Good timing though. Got Ernie up here now. Starts us off with the ball inside. Falls that up. I believe that was a changeup. We're just, just early on it. Baseman, Even up the count to one and one. Hit hit. We rolled over on the slider. Um, just early on it, and I think we're a little bit above it. That was a pitch we we should have drove, but we just missed it. Gets us swinging, swinging early with Votto here with that 12-6. We were sitting fastball, and we missed it. Still was sitting fastball and throws the change up. We were early on it. Um, definitely a not a good at bat here. With We missed some pitches that we should have drove with Joey. Uh, did a good job of fouling off a lot of pitches. Um, I believe here in the end, though, I think, I think we just hit a Hit a pop out. I don't really remember what happened here. Um, I would love Smoltz. As you can see, though, we're we're battling with him. He almost gets this Smoltz fastball by us, one. and we're able to get just foul that off. I believe that was the sinker. Yep. 
I tried using them just laid on it, slapped it, not, slapped it out of play. I don't know why. Sometimes it's hard to lay off those pitches out of the zone when you've been fouling off a bunch of pitches, but we were able to there. And he gets us on a change up here, and we just pulled it down the first baseman for the third out of the inning. Got Jimmy leading off the leading off the inning here. Still up, still a three-two game. Uh, Start him off inside. Not even close. Wasn't even tempting. Uh, we're, we're coming back here, I believe, with the fastball, and he just drives it up the middle for a nice little single. I think Jimmy's now two for two or with for him. Uh, we got Alomar here, and we start him off that 12-6. Missed our spot, but he's early on it and yanks it foul. I can't even think of one. Almost ended up, <laughs> ended up. Four, four, three, right there. But we got lucky. Start warming up our bullpen. I usually pull my starters around the sixth, seventh inning, um, unless they're really dominating. I usually take them out after the sixth. I notice that around the sixth inning mark is when starters start getting squared up a little bit better. Here he hit. He hits a, a nice little hit and run. We threw a perfect pitch for him. A change up blown away outside. All he had to do was kind of go with the pitch. Nothing we can do there. Uh, we we're at least able to keep keep Rollins at first or at second, so not too much damage done at that point. Got the 99 chipper here. Got him down 0-2. Uh, going with the changeup in the dirt. Fouls it off. Thought we were going to get him there, but we didn't. Uh, so we come back with a fastball. Missed our spot. We wanted that high and inside, but left it pretty much down the middle. But we get the nice little pop fly to Dawson. One down. Uh, got Maurer coming up here. Just looking, trying to somehow induce a double play ball. Uh, we throw him a change up here, blowing away. Kind of missed our spot again, but we get the ball to hit the second too short. And Rollins, for whatever reason, decides to lollygag the. the <laughs> The exchange and Bauer somehow beats it out. That would have been a nice little inning inning double play, but not to be. Uh, I believe he has upped and up now. Yep, has upped and up now. We have an 0-2 count. Throw the slider, miss our spot. Wasn't even a tempting pitch. Uh, we're coming back with a slider here. Trying to go down low, maybe in the dirt a little bit. Big mistake on my part, because we all know the blocking for the catcher's hair are spectacular. Um, as you can see, we have a wild pitch. Jimmy scores, bringing the score to 3-3. Three, three. Um, I obviously didn't learn my lesson from the last pitch, because then I throw the change up in the dirt. And lo and behold, Bowers, or Buster still can't block a ball, so now I have a runner on third. Uh, I stuck with Linscum here. Uh, was going to pull him, but I didn't. We throw the 12 6. Get a nice little easy fly ball out to right field. Ends the inning, but the damage was done. Rawls was able to score on the wild pitch, tying the game well, up at 3 3. I still like him. Top of the seventh here, we got Dawson leading off for us. Uh, still got Linscum in on his side. Do have them up to 82 pitches, which is pretty yeah, nice. You know, we, we were able to work the pitch count up a little bit, even though we were pretty undisciplined on some of the earlier bats. Uh, Blue kind of gave us a call there, giving us a two one hitters count. Uh, get the change up, Ooh. and I just I was underneath of it, uh, or that was a slider. I'm sorry, Let, hung the slider, and we got underneath of it. That ball should have been hit 800 feet, and. We just missed it. I just missed it. Uh, got upped and up now. One all count. Looking for the fastball up again. We get a change up rolling in. And up and does the river for us with a solo blast to left field. Bringing it up to a 4 3 game for us now. He's going to be susceptible. To uh, I guess it was a sinker. I thought he threw the change up there, but I guess it was a sinker. 
we do have Buster up the bat now. One down, oh one one count. He's got good speed, but it doesn't really have any move. Just early on the change up there. So we're sitting all two here. We're looking for something off speed and in the dirt. And he actually throws a high fastball on us, and we're just late on it. We're late underneath that one. Knew I completely missed that one. We're going to see if we can get him a win his first game. We do decide to pinch it for Linscombe here. We're going to get him out of the game. Uh, we, we were lucky enough to get him out with a 4-3 lead. Now we just somehow got to hold on to it. Bring the postseason Reggie Jackson in the pitch hit for us. Just missed that fastball. I, I was actually I sitting know. on that oh, pitch. Well, and for whatever track. reason, I, I seen it and I, I hesitated. And then ever since then, I just fucking can't do nothing with him. Tries to get us in the dirt. Almost gets us swinging at that. We're able to hold off. One, two count here. Able to check on that 12-6 also. Bringing the count even at two and two. Get the fastball here, turned on it, and Reggie hits a nice little single out to right field. I actually thought Reggie should have hit that one a little bit better than what he did, um, but it was still a nice hit. And bring it up Rollins here for us. Uh, got an 0-1, just late on that fastball. No, I wasn't late. I was underneath a bit, I guess. I don't understand the pay PCI return. I mean, there's times where your PCI, that I know my PCI is not on the ball, and it shows it's on the ball, and then there's times where I know I was on the ball, and it shows me clear off and left field with my PCI. So I take it with a grain of salt when I see that one. Uh, but obviously, we... We were went down hacking at a change up in the dirt with Rollins. Uh, we're bringing in here Britton in here to face uh, Marno, which he then counters by bringing in Harmon Killer Brew. Gonna start him off here with the. I think we started him off the slider. Either way, Britton Britton did a nice job using his head to block that block that bouncer back up the middle. Get the nice little play at first for the out number one. So we can start start him off here with the sinker. I'm not sure who was batting, but we threw the sinker and we just get a nice little fly ball. Like um, going back to Britain blocking that ball with his head. I was just thinking to myself, I wish, I wish SDS would make catchers block the ball as well as they let the pitchers block the balls hit back up the middle. Uh, I don't, I don't know if there's a game I've ever played where at least one ball, if not two, has been hit off the hit off the pitcher. Uh, he brings Carlos in here to face Britain. Uh, start him off. I don't remember what we started him off with, but we followed him up with the sinker inside, bringing the count to one and one. Uh, go with the fastball here. Getting him up one, two. Um, going with the high heat. We're not actually throwing the sinker. We're actually throwing the four seamer. And we get the nice little fly ball. Um, Britain's one of my favorite relievers on here. Uh, I I tend to not throw as many sinkers as most people do. Uh, I, I have I feel that a lot of people sit on the sinker. And I find the, f the fastball to be quite effective because a lot of people will pop it up. Expecting the expecting the drop from the sinker. Uh, he brings in the Ken Giles card here, facing Sandberg. We fell off that inside fastball. Gets us early on the slider. O2 count here. Able to lay off the change up in the dirt, bringing the count to one and two. And well, nope. I guess we just fouled that pitch off there. I thought we just rolled over on it. There's more goose, I guess. Because that slider's good. Watch the inside that fastball off the plate. Bring the count to two and two here. I actually worked the count full. And he comes up with the high fastball, which we're able to lay off. And Samer got the walk. I actually remember kind of that about after after I fouled that change up off. Uh, we got 
we got uh, Harper here. Uh, gets us swinging early on the on that change of him. Then we watched a fastball for whatever reason. We just watched a fastball going for a hit and run for whatever reason. Uh, brain fart, complete idiotic play. Don't know why I went for a hit and run on an 0-2 count. As you can see, we hit a foul ball, pop fly catcher. Sandberg doubled up off off second. Huge mistake on my part. Get Ernie here, turning on the inside fastball, driving it out to the left field, leaving the yard for a solo shot, which makes my idiotic play of the hit and run on an 0-2 count even worse. But we do get the one run, making it a 5-3 game. And then we get, uh, he brings Britton in the face photo, and we just hit a nice little pop fly back to the catcher. So we're going into the bottom of the eighth here. 5-3 game. He brings in Ernie the Ernie the for Britain. I come in with Koji. Koji's actually been really solid for me in rank season play. Um, he's has yet to blow a save. He's 2-0. He's got an ERA around 2.1, something like that. Um, he had one bad outing where he gave up two home runs in three innings. Two solo shots. As you can see here, though, Ernie does get a little little Texas leaguer out to right field, um, bringing up Jimmy Rollins. Starting him off here with a splitter in the dirt. Get him swinging. Oh, one count here. Uh, we're coming with a cutter. Trying to come with the cutter in, miss our spot, leave it over the plate, and Koji has finally blown a save. Thinking about that now, I'm not sure why I went with the cutter. I usually am splitter heavy with Koji. Um, I do use the cutter a lot against lefties. I just missed my spot there. Um, all I can really say. It wasn't really if you go back and look at the placement of the ball after the thing, it was actually a pretty decent pitch. It was a really good hit on his part. Um, but I did want it in off the plate and it stayed on the edge. Uh, I believe that was the 99 chipper here popping out the left field for the second out of the inning. Now we have Maurer up. I'm going to start him off with a splitter in the dirt. No, curveball. That's right, curveball. Um, not, I don't, and I believe I come with a fastball here off the plate. Nope, that was the cutter. That's where I wanted the cutter at on Jimmy. Uh, what I was getting ready to say about the curveball with Koji, I don't use the curveball a whole lot with Koji, but I do like to sprinkle it in because it's just slow as hell, and it just really throws your timing off. Uh, coming back with the cut fastball, there we go. Fastball there, he was probably sitting cutter, and we get him looking for the third out of the inning. Uh, we're in the bottom of the tent there. Neither one of us did anything in the ninth. Uh, I bring in the Ken Giles. Uh, got a 1-1 one -one count with Brent here. Throw the slider and I bounce it off his knee. Not not a way you want to start an extra inning. Especially when he's the home team. You don't want to just give the leadoff hitter the, the base. Uh, he brings in Seager here. I'm starting with the fastball low and away. Coming back with, I believe we come back here with the changeup. He got a bad jump. I actually thought we had a better chance of getting him. Um, Giles' delivery was a little bit slower. I'm still getting used to him. His delivery is a little bit slower than I thought. Uh, Sear gets a nice hit out to right field. He takes second on the throw home. Usually I would throw that off to the cutoff, cutoff man, but with it being in the bottom of the 10th, the runner at second is really kind of meaningless at this point. We just need to make sure, you know, Beltron wasn't going to score. Uh, we got Jimmy up here. Get him with a fastball. Bring the count to one and one. Really just need a strikeout or a pop fly on the infield here. Um, 
Get him with another fastball low and away, bringing the count to one and two. Come here with the slider, and he hits. Ba or not a base hit to second base, but just a little roller to second baseman, which gets Beltron in for the winning run. Uh, Jimmy was a player of the game here, obviously with the two-run home run to tie it up at five, and then he hits the walk-off sack, whatever you want to call it, ground out to to get Beltron in to, to win the game. Uh, we pretty much blew that one. We had our opportunities, and we just let them go. I uh, appreciate everyone watching this video. Please leave your comments below. Have a good night.